Some time ago in the spring, I had made a video called uh, Wi-Fi testing. It was Wi-Fi N versus AC. And I did mention that I have a back room in my house that is essentially a dead zone where the signal from my main router will not reach. I do have a product that I've had for quite some time. This is very much an overdue review. This is called the Aki AC Wi-Fi access point router or repeater. A repeater means that it picks up the signal from your main router and it can extend the range. It's essentially a range extender. So this device is the AC750, so it is an AC protocol device and it actually has some unique functions that I'll show you in a second. So it can run wired or wireless or wired and wireless. It's essentially like a little router all built into one. And I have been testing it and using it for quite some time. So it plugs directly into a wall socket. This is a metal um, heat dissipating plate and also has the specs. So when it's initially set up, you do go to that access point website and you walk you through a wizard of how you want to set it up because it does have three different modes. And you have a switch here where you can run it in router, repeater, or access point mode. And I'm not going to get into testing and demoing each one of those, but just the point is, this is a very sophisticated range extender. I've never seen another one that has all three functions like that. Normally, they're just sold as extenders. It does have a dedicated on-off switch and a reset button. Um, and there's your uh, Mac IDs. It does have adjustable antennas, three of them. As I said, it's an AC access point. And the other unique thing about it is that it has actual RJ45 Ethernet ports. So you can run it with LAN and WAN. Very cool. And it works great. Here's the instruction booklet that it comes with. And like I said, this is a genuine Aki product. And here's all of the Aki information. You get a 24 month product warranty with it. You like them on Twitter, or Facebook, Instagram. And it does come with an RJ45 cable. So this is exactly what comes in the box, is what you're seeing here. And it's a pretty neat, neat device. It does get warm. Um, it also has status indicators. So let me actually plug it in so you can see how it works and how long it takes to pair. Whoops. Now, the way it is, I do have a complaint about it. The way that it is designed, it blocks both plugs, no matter what way you do it so I'd have to unplug everything it takes up because if you go in the bottom the antenna blocks the top even if you bend them down out of the way it will still block the top I believe yeah so either way you're sacrificing two plugs for it that is a bit of a design flaw I would like to see improved in the next version and then I'll just hit the on switch here and it takes a while to boot up and I already have it configured so it will be searching for my home router, which is right there. I mean, this is not how I set it up. You wanna have this positioned in a spot where you can still get a decent signal from your main router. You don't wanna put it directly into the dead zone where there's no signal. You have to be able to get a link back and forth. And it's best to set it up where you, your connecting protocol between them should be the 2.4 gigahertz protocol because that has a longer distance and range. And then you can also have your devices connect to this on the five gigahertz band. And boom, just right like that, now we've got a signal. So now we, we are sending out a good signal and it has a good signal. It's on the internet, ready to go. And now if I look on my phone, there will be additional access points. And there we've got home extended and home extended 5G. And that is coming from this device. I have my devices in the back room set to pair to these extended networks. I have them all set to pair to the five gigabits network. And I've done this uh, Wi-Fi sweet spots test. It totally works. Fix the problem. So if you have a bad area in your house, you don't necessarily have to upgrade your router. Um, since I made that last video, I've gone back to my N router. I like it more. So my AC router is still down here in the box and I've gone back to my Asus N router because it was more stable and I had more features that I liked. And then I can then serve out an AC Wi-Fi network from this. So my game consoles and stuff in the back room are gonna get an AC connection to this and then it has an N connection back to the router. It works totally great for having my consoles connect to the internet that were in that back room and having a hard time getting a signal. 
All right, so that's the Aki AC750 Wi-Fi booster. And if my delay in putting this out has been so long that they don't no longer make this exact model, I will link to a current model because you know, this stuff, like any tech thing, constantly being upgraded. So I'm sure they have newer, better models of even this out now. All right, thanks for watching.